When I got locked up in the county jail, they gave us those black and white striped scrub outfits like you'd see from old prison farm photos, and they didn't give any whites. No socks, no boxers, and no t-shirts. Now, if you happened to be wearing white socks, white boxers, and white t-shirts when you got locked up, you could keep them. But since mine were color and colors weren't allowed, they took all my underwear away. And since they only gave me one set of scrubs and I couldn't buy any more underwear until we went to commissary two weeks later, they basically told me I couldn't wash my scrubs for two weeks. When I got to receiving, it was jumpsuits rather than scrubs, and they had a different color for each tier, so they could always tell where you were supposed to be or if you were on a tier you didn't belong in. And they would issue two jumpsuits, three pairs of socks, three pairs of boxers, and three t-shirts, but you only got to go to laundry exchange once a week. So that meant basically you took a shower every other day and you still weren't as clean as you wanted to be. Or we washed all our stuff in the shower, all our stuff in the sink, and we had these big steam pipes, and we'd actually hang them over the steam pipes to dry. Then when I got to my first prison, we got state blues, which were prison factory main jeans and a button-up t-shirt, and I felt human. Now, they weren't normal, like the jeans didn't quite fit right, the shirts didn't quite fit right, but I felt like a normal human being. And at that place, which was a level four, every time you went over to visitation, you had to change into a jumpsuit. So it's like you went from dressing like a normal person to going back to the jumpsuit and having to be seeing your family like that or taking pictures of your family like that. So the big appeal of getting transferred down to a level three was you could wear your blues into the visitation room. So all of a sudden, instead of my family seeing me behind glass or seeing me in a jumpsuit, they were seeing me in jeans and a button-up shirt, and that was such a better look. And the first couple visits, I remember watching people cry because they got to see me dressed like a normal person rather than in a jumpsuit on display. Then, of course, the new anti-drug policy came in, and they made everybody start wearing jumpsuits, but not just normal jumpsuits, backwards, weird, brown jumpsuits that look like potato sacks. And the irony was, it was actually a whole lot easier to smuggle drugs back if somebody wanted to using those jumpsuits than using the state blues. And it's also really curious that every anti-drug policy addresses only visitation and mail, but during the pandemic, when we didn't have any visitation and mail rights had already been completely stripped, we still had just as many drugs and just as many overdoses. But then in the middle of the pandemic, when I got emergency transferred from the level three down to a level two, I remember thinking, okay, it's gonna be better, we're gonna have more privileges, things are gonna be easier, but I was wrong. Because as soon as I got there, I saw that after 17 years of being able to wear blues at higher level institutions, I had to go back to wearing scrubs. And it never made sense to me that the warden would be like, hey, we're a lower level institution. Let's treat people more like they're not on the street and not headed towards freedom. And the other really frustrating thing about that place is that you could buy blues if you had the money. So if you had $100 to spend on clothes rather than needing to buy soap and toothpaste and deodorant, you could walk around in jeans and a button-up shirt. But if you didn't have the money, you had to wear the scrubs. So they literally created a situation where if you wanted to walk around in normal clothes, you had to have money, and if you didn't have money, you couldn't. And I never got to see what visitation was like there because there were no visits during COVID, and that's where I got my conditional pardon from. And these were the khaki pants and the brown shirt that, along with the pair of blue boat shoes, they gave me for my release. And I don't look back fondly on any of those types of clothes specifically, but I was grateful that for 17 years, I was able to dress in jeans and a button-up shirt like a normal person in the world.